Hey you guys! Today I'm going to show you how I made this whole fence for $3 using materials I purchased at the dollar store. I also added a surprise at the end of this video. If you want to see some footage of an adorable foal named Dragonfly, then stick around to the end of the video. These are the items that I purchased from the dollar store. Craft sticks, ribbon, and jute cord. The first step is cutting off those useless round ends. The fence will be 3 inches tall, so I'm going to cut these pieces down for vertical posts. I'll be needing to make lots of them. The horizontal boards are 4 inches wide. As I glue these pieces together using hot glue, I am intentionally not meeting boards up to the outside edge of the end posts. It's such a simple trick but makes all the difference in the end. Now to strengthen these joints. Adding these pieces gives the fence more durability, and it also makes for a sharper appearance. This is how the fence line should look for everything to fit together properly. It's nice to see the corner come together so seamlessly. The interior corner looks good as well. I could leave it like this, but the fence will be much sturdier if I strengthen the corners. Adding the side piece really gives it a polished look. I made these two side pieces that the gate will hang between. I put 4 inch pieces on the inside because I will be framing in the gate. Rather than trying to stack these sticks end on end to make them taller, I am puzzling pieces together to add height to the gate frame. It's essential for overall durability. To give it strength and improve the appearance, I am making the gate frame three sticks deep when stacked upon each other. Cutting out this small square at the top will enable me to seamlessly glue in the top piece of the frame. The gate opening is longer than the craft sticks, so I will have to lengthen them using the same puzzling method. It was pretty sturdy, but I would say that the gate frame definitely needed to be fortified. I tried to keep making the gate pretty simple. This is where one of my pantry items comes into play. This is a wooden food skewer, but it's essentially just a giant toothpick. A toothpick would work just as well for this project. This black ribbon is exactly what I need to make the magic happen. After cutting the ribbon in half lengthwise, I am burning the edges to keep it from unraveling. Next, I started gluing things together.
I was surprised by how well this worked as a hinge. Perfectly simple and easily made from household items. One hard truth in the life of crafters. My hands never look pretty. Always beaten up and rough looking. Also the reason I never wear nail polish. Growing up, I remember always having the kind of gate latch that you just loop over the post. So I thought I would demonstrate it on this setup. But ultimately, I prefer the look of an iron latch, which I ended up making at the end of this video using some surprising items. Two hours later, this happened. It took me three tries to filter this extra super strong coffee. But in the end, it was definitely worth it. This is a black coffee straw that came from a coffee stand. I cut three small pieces from it, then simply glued them onto the wood. Crafting a wooden slide from skewers was super easy. Then it was just a matter of coloring it all black with a sharpie. Time to see Dragonfly. He's a medicine hat tricolor paint horse, and I just love how cute his markings are. He's got a white tip on one ear, and white eyelashes on the other side. He was such a surprise when he was born. We never expected to see so much white when we looked out the window that morning. He has such a spunky personality and such a sweet disposition. Thanks for watching everybody, see you next time!